about 12, 13 years ago, and then started my own business, developing ways to make everything around us more magical and interactive. I moved to Woodstock to get balance in my life. I love living in New York City, it's just a couple of hours away, but for the most part of my week, I get to live in this beautiful wilderness environment surrounded by mountains and forest. And to kind of find my balance, I spend my weekends hiking and then sleeping in the forest. I believe the role of our brain is largely to create a sense of reality. Um, and when our senses go dark, our brain starts to make up um, a reality. And a reality in the darkness can become a scary place. If we walk on the street connected into our smartphones, then we've connected our senses into this digital device and we've disconnected our senses from the environment around us and we start to lose a sense of our physical reality, where we are and who we are, then I, I do believe that the way we use digital devices is massively affecting our, our mental health. It's not about not doing it, we just need to, to understand how to get the balance right. Um, how to make sure we leave ourselves connected in our physical environment as much as we need and then how to safely use the, the digital devices and literally being mindful about that whole process. So when I started going on these walks in the forest um, and I realised that the, the thoughts that I, I was having in my mind were, I was only having them because of my journey through the forest. And then I started to imagine that that the forest, the rocks, the streams, um, maybe the occasional bear um, were kind of, they were like the record, like a vinyl. I'm the needle and as I journey through the forest or I journey through my environment, then the music that I hear in my mind or the thoughts that I hear in my mind is the music on the record. And that made me think, if we're not happy with the thoughts that we have in our head, then all we have to do is change the record. And changing the record is changing our environment. So if you want to change how you think and what you think, then you really need to, to look at everything that's around you and everything that's in your life. The people, the places, um, and all of the experiences that, that you have are what you should work on. And it's only very recently that our lives have changed so much. And those things that we used to have to do, we've removed from our lives. So, so doing those things to meet our basic needs, chopping the wood to keep the house warm, preparing the vegetables and cooking dinner. They're not just about meeting our physical needs, but I believe they're also largely about meeting our, our mental needs for our mental health. I'm fairly certain that in the future, as we start to understand this a lot more, our lives will be filled with doing more things to meet these basic needs. In the same way we might go to the gym, um, you know, or, or exercise ourselves in some other way. And I believe that in the future, as we understand this so much more, as we understand who we are, we will place a premium on doing these things to meet our basic needs and going back to doing the type of chores that we might have done a thousand years ago. Um, and one of the things I believe in general is that about the future is that our future will look much more like the past than the present um, and I'm quite excited about that prospect.